News political analyst. Good morning, Stephen Roberts. Hey, pal. We are in some weird place right now. What are your thoughts as you watch this news breaking about the latest with Judge Kavanaugh? Well, I think that uh, uh, the basics remain true, which is that Republicans uh, have 51 votes in the U.S. Senate. They are absolutely determined to push through uh, the Kavanaugh nomination and push it through as quickly as possible. Um, The stakes are enormous here. Not only would he... um, shift the balance of the Supreme Court. Uh, He could sit for 30 years on this court. Let's remember the person he replaced, Justice Kennedy, sat for 30 years. And, you know, elections uh, happen regularly. Donald Trump, whatever you think about him, you get a chance in two years from now to vote him up or down. That's not true of a Supreme Court justice. It's a lifetime appointment. This is the one and only chance that uh, voters, one and only chance that politicians have to make a judgment on Kavanaugh. So, Republicans are absolutely determined. The stakes are so high for them. But at the same time, I think the potential for a political backlash is growing, particularly given the emergence, as you point out, of a second accuser quoted in The New Yorker today. There is a possibility of other women stepping forward. Um, And look at the latest NBC Wall Street Journal poll. Men favored Republicans in the fall election by three points. Women favored Democrats by 25 points. That's an enormous gender gap, and the specter of, 20, of 11 white men Republicans quizzing this woman about sexual harassment is only going to add to the fuel uh, and add to the possibility of a female revolt against Republicans in the fall. So but, uh, most likely, high, a likely outcome, Kavanaugh wins uh, and, and Democrats profit from it. Okay, so, uh, but if the nomination goes down, Trump can has a litany of other judges who he can appoint who are just as and or more conservative. So, so why... Why stand for Kavanaugh no matter what? Well, um, I think that's a good point, but part of it relates to timing. Let's remember, Democrats need to pick up two seats, only two, uh, to take control of the Senate next year. If that were to happen, if Kavanaugh were somehow not to make it this fall for whatever reason, and if, big ifs, Democrats were to take over the Senate, that means that they would control the um, uh, process for approving uh, the next nominee. Uh, They would then have a majority. uh, And that would make it much, much, much more difficult for Donald Trump to put in a highly conservative judge. Um, And uh, that's why Republicans are so eager here uh, to push this uh, nomination forward as fast as possible before the election, because they know that uh, if Democrats take over in, the, in, in January, the landscape becomes very different. Uh, Stephen Roberts, you know the map as well as anybody. You're, you know the polls better than anybody. Are you telling me that Democrats have a legitimate shot at taking the Senate because the way it is set up, Republicans, it was almost impossible for them to lose control of the Senate? That's true. Uh, given the map, you're absolutely right about that. There are 10 Democrats running for re-election in states that Trump won, uh, including right there, uh, as everybody listening to us knows, um, uh, uh, one of the most Missouri, important right. issues is McCaskill. But remember the figures I just gave you. When you have uh, this enormous gender gap of 25 percent of women uh, tilting toward the Democrats, that could be uh, change the landscape. That could change the calculation. And Democrats are hoping and, 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 and calculating that this fight will only add to that gender gap, only uh, anger and irritate and energize more women voters, not just to, to oppose Trump, but to get out there and give money and, 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 and volunteer intensity matters in politics. Not all votes are equal. And uh, the specter uh, that they expect and, and even hope to see on Thursday, uh, where uh, a woman is, is being subjected to harsh questioning by Republicans. The Republicans are, are desperate to avoid that. That's one of the reasons why they've talked about hiring a woman prosecutor to do the questioning, because they know the risks of 11 white guys that one of them is going to say something stupid. (laughs) And you add to the fact that you have a man in the White House whose trigger finger is itching 
itching, as everyone knows, to attack um, the witness. The possibility of, of, of producing fodder for Democratic campaign ads is very high. Stephen Roberts, um, what about the idea that what you do in high school and what you do in college um, disqualifies you from the Supreme Court? That's a pretty high standard, and I don't think any of us want our full college and high school years on parade. How do we go forward with this? This is an excellent question, and I have been uneasy in many ways, not only as a reporter but as a professor who teaches journalism ethics, um, with uh, the stories that have dredged up these, these ancient accusations. I think it's a fair question to say um, uh, that uh, youthful, uh, even uh, youthful escapades like this shouldn't determine uh, a final judgment on, on a man in his 50s. Um, but you got to look at the political landscape. The rise of the Me Too movement over the last year has changed the way Americans think about sexual assault as an issue. Um, and it's a much more highly sensitive issue. If this had happened a year ago, I don't think it would be nearly as explosive or as, as, as important. But you've got to understand the change. Plus, you add to the fact that you have a man in the White House who's been accused by multiple women of sexual indiscretions, including one of them, whose, whose book, Stormy Daniels, is going to come out next week. And you have, um, and that just adds to the fury, it adds to the uh, energy on the Democratic side to push these issues. So it might well be unfair to Brett Kavanaugh uh, in, in this particular incidence, but the um, rising uh, focus and the rising intensity uh, of women on this issue uh, changes the political landscape. Stephen Roberts, you're the best. Have a good week. Thanks. Okay.